Hi guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. This is week five of the Spring Clean Challenge and I hope you've come along today to refresh your laundry space and linen closet with me. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. Make sure to click the link in my description box below to download the spring cleaning checklist. As you can see, my laundry area is a very small closet type space and it is open for whoever passes by to see everything in there. Now, I had previously worked on a system to organize this space, but as you can see, it has gotten really tired. My main goals here are to keep everything out of sight. Just all the visual clutter was really bothering me. Practically, I also needed a place to store all the trash that comes along with doing laundry, like the dryer lint and things out of people's pockets. And as you can see, these two large cabinets to the left of my laundry area function as a sort of a linen closet. Now they too had become very cluttered and the system I had in place just was not working for me. You'll wanna watch all the way to the end for the big reveal of the finish. Another one of my goals was to go through everything that we had stored in here during this day at home and first COVID and reorganize it and figure out exactly what we had. So as usual, when I'm organizing a space, I began by removing absolutely everything. I put together this spring cleaning checklist to help me think through all my areas and also to help me figure out which containers would work best for me. Now I'm gonna show you one of my very favorite containers which is found at Walmart. They have many different colors and sizes and these are extremely reasonably priced. The container that I settled on was less than $5, but as you can see, they really have a huge range of options for very affordable prices. Another hack when you're organizing small spaces is to go up rather than out, and these small trash cans from Dollar Tree really help with that. As you can see, you can spray paint these trash cans any color you like to go with any decor. And this heirloom white spray matched my containers perfectly. I wanted to make the most of the wall space in this laundry area. So after I had spray painted those trash cans, I simply drilled two holes in the back and attached a zip tie. This was a four inch zip tie in order to allow that little waste basket to hang on the wall. And I will show you exactly how I did that. I repeated this process three times for three different trash cans. And that was kind of the number that I kept in mind for this space. You'll see a lot of the containers I'm using, I grouped in groupings of three. And next I used this removable hook from Dollar Tree. It holds up to five pounds, which was perfect for the supplies I was keeping in these trash cans. The thing I really loved about these hooks is that they are sturdy, but they're also clear. There's no way to see that they're there. So the look is very clean and that's exactly what I was wanting. In order to make the most of this linen closet space, I knew that I needed to multi-level it. So I used four of the metal risers from Dollar Tree and joined them together with zip ties to form a top shelf and a bottom shelf for storage. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you can get even more great ideas. If you're new to Skip to My Life, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. As many of you know, my husband and I recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage after our kids were grown and flown. 
If you're living in a tiny space, you wanna make sure to use the backs of those doors for storage. I simply took a wire shower caddy from Dollar Tree and snipped off that top hanger with very sturdy wire cutters. And now it's become a multi-level shelf with hooks. I recommend using command strips for projects like this, and you can cut them into smaller pieces to make them go a little bit further. I know that they can be pricey, but in this situation, I simply attached the poster hanging strips to some hooks that I already had and connected those to the back of that hanging shelf. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video for the big reveal. To add some visual fun, I attached a wall decal above the shelf. This one I purchased at a store named Daiso, but Dollar Tree does carry many wall decals that would be great for a laundry space. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. And also if you haven't already, I would love to have you join our community here at Skip To My Life by subscribing to my channel. It's completely free. These labels add a decorative touch, but they also make it really easy to find everything and put it back in its place. I simply created these on my laptop and I was really pleased with the way they turned out. I'm giving powdered bleach a try because I think it will store better in these plastic containers. So if you've used powdered bleach, let me know how it works for you. I also laminated each of the labels and just attached them to the shelves with some glue gun glue. When you're making labels and organizing, don't forget to print out some extras of things you may want to use in this space at a later date. Start up at the top and I'm gonna use my trusty pointer. I think this looks like a Mickey Mouse finger from Dollar Tree to help me describe what I've done here. So starting up here, these are containers from Dollar Tree. One of them holds my laundry pods and then powder bleach, which I'm gonna start trying to use and see if I like it. This is baking soda, which I often use if I have mildewy or extra nasty clothing. And then vinegar is what I use for fabric softener. Now these containers are ones I purchased from Dollar Tree and they come in handy for all kinds of different things. You can see that these laundry pods are easily accessed, but the thin, tall container is really nice for a smaller space. wrap from Dollar Tree makes it nice for me to store some other items underneath and as well it's deep enough that I can keep my extras hidden behind these containers for easy refills. Now we're going to travel along the shelf to these three containers that you saw I purchased at Walmart for less than five dollars. In this first one is all my sanitizer and masks I found that these were taking up a lot of my space in my linen closet and we're not going through them as much as we were, probably like most of you. So I still can clearly see what they are, but I don't have them in my everyday traffic area. The second, these are older towels that we use when we wash the dog or when he tracks in mud. And so I wanted also to have those easy to use and remember where they were, but not taking up a lot of space. And then my last bin here is for ironing. And if you're like me, you don't do a lot of hand ironing anymore. But when I do, I like to have it handy. I have my iron in here. I also have my steam iron and then my magic sizing and static guard. So those are all things related to ironing in this one bin. If you've been following my spring clean, you know that I'm always encouraging you when you organize to leave some space in your organizing area that's unfilled because I promise you, you will find something you need to put there. So in this area right here, I have a, two of the shelves from Dollar Tree which elevate this area. Underneath, I have a Lazy Susan. Now in this Lazy Susan, I am trying for stain removers, Fels Naphtha Soap. Now if you have any experience with this Fels Naphtha Soap, let me know. 
I have my soap bar and my little scrubber in here. I may put a toothbrush in here. This is an old, old spot removing remedy and my mom used to use this. If you've had good experience with it, let me know. As I said, I'm trying to get a little bit more environmentally friendly and not buy so many plastic containers. So I'm keeping that here for removing spot. And one of them, I have rubber bands. The other I have changed from pockets, and then the other I have clips. It seems like those are things I'm always looking for in this area. I also have a little room over here, and then I got a little cute little wire basket to put up on top. Not sure exactly what that's gonna hold. I may even find a space for a green plant that I wanna put over here just to add a little brightness to this area. So that's the entire top shelf. One of the best things I did in this area to brighten it up is to paint this post. It was a really nasty brown, just original wood color. And I had had it in my mind to spray paint it quickly, but I just did not realize the difference it would make in brightening the area. So I encourage you just to take the time to do that one simple thing, and it may make all the difference. The shelf paper that I used on this top shelf is also from Dollar Tree. It will take you more rolls if you decide to use their products versus something from Walmart because they come in smaller quantities, but they're still very pretty and very durable for sure. Now underneath in this area, you'll see I've got my dustpan. This is one of those bright blue dustpans from Dollar Tree. You can see some of that blue peeking through. And I just keep spray painting this guy because <laughs> I don't know, that's me. But I like the fact that it blends in with the area and doesn't stand out as that bright blue. And I do love their dust pans because they're really deep and they stand up to time. Secondly, you'll see these three little trash cans that we used. When I originally got these, they were, they were black because that was the only color they had left at any of my Dollar Trees. So as you saw, I did spray paint those and I did add this little loop to the back as I showed you in my demonstration. This one holds all kinds of lint rollers and at a glance I can easily reach it and also see if I need to get more. The second is trash and I did not realize how convenient it would be to have this right here, but from the very beginning I have been using this little trash container. And then lastly, this is a container for dryer balls. We do use the plastic and wool dryer balls instead of adding a lot of fabric softener. And so I really need those quickly at hand when I'm doing laundry. Closet redo, you'll know that I'm really trying to convert all my hangers to these velvet ones with the little wire hooks. And if you haven't watched that closet redo, you should go back and see it. It will really help you to conserve some space in your closet, but that's one of the things I'm working on. Secondly, I found this little item in a store called Daiso. It's kind of a Japanese version of our Dollar Tree. Most items are $1.50, and this one just clips on to air drying items and it has space for six different items. So I'm gonna give this a try. I thought the look was really cute, plus it could be a real space saver. For I decided to add this aluminum bucket that I've had for years and I've spray painted it many, many times. Right now it's white. I just thought it had added a little bit of charm to the area versus having a bunch of laundry baskets here. And then also I took my regular ironing board, which I don't use a whole lot, and I recovered it with some linen remnant fabric that I had. Um, this just makes it, I, I use it very infrequently, but it makes it a little bit less conspicuous in this area. This is my tiny linen closet, and it's an extension now of my laundry area, and it works so much better for us because it's not stuffed full of odds and ends. It actually has some sense and some order. So on the top shelf, we have blankets, and these are really for when guests come and stay. I end up cutting down some of these labels just to fit the shelves, shelf space that I have here a little bit better. On the second shelf, I have pull-out containers. So in this one, I have extra body wash, which if there's a sale, I like to stock up on. In the middle, I have cleaning refills. So these are things I wanna use up or find on sale, and these fill up my pump bottles. If you have not seen my Magic Cleaning Caddy video, I will attach that below. That was one of our five spring clean challenge videos. 
and I am saving tons of money and totally avoiding that cleaning aisle at the grocery store. And the last container here is hair care products. If I find these on sale, I can go ahead and stack up and we have refills. Our floors in this space are white tile, so we have finally found a system that works for us to get, keep them clean, but not use too much elbow grease, and that is this Mr. Clean mop. So we went ahead, my husband ordered a whole bunch of these mop heads, and we're just gonna keep them in here, and then everybody can see where they are. The second thing, I don't know about you, but if you use these wax melt cubes, they can be a little bit awkward to store because they're various different plastic containers. So I just decided to have a little shelf for all of those wax melts and any kind of air fresheners that are reusable. On the bottom shelf, these are the sheets that we use and change weekly for our king size bed. And I have wrapped them in little bundles so that I can easily just pull out a complete sheet set with pillowcases included. On this little shelf, I've used a Dollar Tree canvas container. These were really fun. And this is gonna hold my extra pillowcases. And then below them, it seems like I'm always looking for an extension cord. So we have two extension cords in this box and they are gonna say, stay all neat and tidy in here without getting tangled up like they were before. We also have a little extra space in the back to keep extra supplies. Like we had a lot of hydrogen peroxide and alcohol uh, that we had kind of stored up and aren't using as much anymore. So I'm saving a lot of that and storing it behind these sheets. I showed you that I mounted this little rack, which is a shower caddy that I cut off the top. Right now we're using that for dog items. I may change that up later. Thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure. Don't forget, comment below, let me know which idea was your favorite, and please subscribe so I can come back and bring you even more fun content. Until next time, it's Shannon at Skip To My Life. Make it a great day.